everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm just kind of going to do a video today on a bit of random ephemera making for the journal I'm working on right now. Um, I'm using my kit from my journal together um, kits that I do on Patreon every month. And so one of the little inclusions is this little watercolor swatch that is um, done on Vintage Ledger. It's actually also from a kit that I've done on Etsy called Vintage Ledger Watercolor Swatches. Um, but what I need to do today is I need to make a few pockets. And I wanted to show you kind of a fun way that I make freeform pockets with collaging. I'm just going to cover that in some glue. Um, <clears throat> then also, this involves using your scraps, <laughs> of course. Because you know me, I always have to use scraps up. So, so basically what you're going to do is just kind of glue this down, but not all the way. Just kind of leave, you know, this top bit up because we're going to collage a little to just extend the interest on like what this pocket will look like. Um, so I have a little bit of map here and I'm just going to pull some of it off so that can go there. I forgot to glue it, of course, because, you know, I'm filming. I have to get all silly with what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So stick that here. And there's some, like, painted paper that has some black on it that could be kind of neat. Maybe at the back. Yeah, let's glue that down. <clears throat> and then I saw this sewing paper hanging about in my scraps too. And I like this arrow. So grab that. And then I have a real piece of watercolor too. But I think that's maybe too big um, for what I want to do. There we go. So now, you know, I've taken a simple shape and I've given it more interest, right? By making it a bit of a collage. So <coughs> next step is I'm just going to cut it out and you can tear this too if you want to, like, you know, but I'm not going to. I'm going to actually just cut, cut it a little wiggly. Then I'm going to cut the excess off this side. Okay, so then what you have now is a more interesting base for a pocket. And then you can add an embellishment or something. I might add like a little label of some kind to this too. One of these little bitty labels. Maybe there would be cute. A stamp would also be cute. <clears throat> and then I usually either... Half the time I stitch or I'll add a bit of fabric and I'll do some stitching. Um, but this one I feel like it doesn't really need stitching. I kind of just like it as is without stitching. That's fun. And then I'm going to use some black distress oxide just around the edge here just to let it kind of have its own outline so that it will stand up on the page. Okay, so there's a pocket. I'll show you another one that I did. So this is another one. This was the original image and um, I forgot to ink it. I'm going to ink this just a little. There we go. And then I did the same thing. I took a little snippet out of a book that said Ode to a Nightingale. I actually used the same paper I used this on as my backing and then added some fabric up top and stitched around the whole thing. And then, you know, it's just a slightly more interesting looking pocket. This one I did the same. Um, this image of the bear is also from my kit. 
I took some scraps of butterfly wings, put them up here, took some brown handmade paper and crinkled and tore it and glued it down, and then added a little book, a um, little bit of words from a book that says brushing the cobwebs with his lofty plume. So yeah, just going to look for the right page that I would want to put this on. This one might be nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else I need to put a pocket on. Oh, I like that actually. Hmm, tough choices. Would also just be nice on the brown paper too. that for a reason okay I kind of like that there with the blue yeah let's do that <clears throat> okay there we go and then I think if I want to do something else on this page, I think I do. Maybe a tab would be kind of nice. Just to kind of add to the blues. Maybe this one. Yeah, okay. So I'll just throw a little bit of glue on this fabric. I will also stitch it on. I'm just going to sort of pre-glue it down so that it get it exactly where I want it to be. Okay. Then, let me see. Yeah, so I'll stitch that page. But I'm going to make another pocket for now, so I'll just set that aside for a moment. Because <clears throat> actually I actually have a couple other things I want to do on that page. So I'm going to do something a little similar maybe with this one, a little different. Let's see. I'll start by just gluing down the image that's from my kit. And then this card that could be kind of cool if I were to fussy cut that out on top of it but it might be a little big there's some moody green paper and I forgot to leave this up <laughs> and if we just grabbed this kind of moody hand dyed paper other side of it. Now we'll do another layer. And this I need to ink. This is like a little, um, a little bit for my kit. It's, I'm using it as a little tip, tip up, tip down. This one's going to tip down on the front of this pocket for some little secret writing space. I just want to get it inked up. Probably ink both sides too.
And then I need to find something to go here. <clears throat> Just to cover up that kind of stark white. And I may do another little piece of that, yeah. Oh, and it's brighter on that side. I'll use this side, actually. Look up a little so you can see <laughs> what I'm doing. basic shape of this that I want cut out. looking at this poetry book that I have here um, to see if there's anything nice that I could add. It's a very random book so um, much of it it's kind of not really what I want. But I am always happy to find like little bits of naturey poetry that <laughs> can use in these things. The sea is calm tonight, the tide is full, the moon lies fair. That's not a sea though, it's more of like a, a lily pad pond. Oh, here we go. Gleam sand is gone, the cliffs of England sand stand, glimmering and vast out in the tranquil bay. Yeah, I like glimmering and vast out in the tranquil bay. That would be nice. Let's see what it says under that here. Come to the window, sweet is the night air, only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon blanched sand. Mm, it's not really. I'm going to just take those two lines. So glimmering and vast out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window, sweet is the night air. That is quite lovely. And I'm just going to take those because the rest is more about like the sea and this isn't really evocative of that kind of an image. that right on here. I'll just reinforce this little crease on here. Okay. Anything else that I might want to do here? Hmm. I feel like Some dots. We'll just mark make to kind of give this a little bit of. Yeah, that one doesn't really spread that well, so I won't use that. Uh, maybe try some of this. This particular wax. It typically works really only on black things, but it might. Yeah, it will do a little bit here for me. iridescent. Oops. It's my husband saying, hey, breakfast is ready. What you doing? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that pocket is good. Um, okay, I'm going to take a little break. I'll be back. Okay, so this pocket is done. I just took my little break. I'm going to find now a signature 
I want to put it into. So the last thing I did was I put one in that signature. And this is narrow enough to go in either my narrow signatures or, or my thicker ones. I've got sort of two. Oh, it could be pretty on here. That could be really nice, actually. Hmm. Although, it could be cool on this as well. What's on the back here? Text. Okay, so that pocket could go there, and then when you do the tuck down, it will still sit inside the book, so it'll give it a nice, like, level place to write because it is a smaller, um, like a smaller little writing space, so it will be easier to, like, write on when it's still in the book and has the support of that page. So I'm just going to glue this down on two sides. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so there's that pocket. <clears throat> I don't know if I've made, have I made anything I could put into it? Let's see. No, I don't think so. Not yet. Well, there's this. I don't know if I need this. I think it'll be a little big, though, because, yeah, it's too big. Okay. Okay, so let's move on from our signatures here. Make another one of these pockets. I'm going to use maybe oh there's another one of those little flippies there's another one there we obviously have the wallaby and we have the cat why don't we make those into pockets with flips because i quite like how those look like that would be very nice and then this would be very nice Alrighty. So just a simple little project for this morning. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I was sort of planning my day still this morning. I have some auction stuff to pick up, state auctions. Let's use some of that. Again, I keep forgetting to leave this pulled up and it might be glued down too much now. These glue sticks are pretty, pretty good. There we go. Okay, we can get it up. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just re-glue this. shape then I put the other half there it is this one this. So I think I will get my auctions today and probably drop into maybe one, maybe two thrift stores and um, see what they've got. I don't need anything, but I might just check them out for the fun of it. Got my daughter signed up for her summer nature camps yesterday. That's all done. Okay. 
Okay. I could put that underneath it. I probably can. If I can still lift it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's tempt fate, my friends. So if you ever question if my glue sticks are good, <laughs> they are. Because <laughs> they stick. Holy moly. Okay, let's put this underneath. That was the whole reason I wanted to pull it up. Just got to pull it down a little more. Don't want to impact where it's going to fold. Yeah. Okay. So now we can re-glue this top piece here. And then I'm going to just grab my black soot. I'm going to throw a little ink on the edges here. Do them in the back too. Would have been easier to ink this before I attached it, but it's not a big deal. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna make this a little bit of a more cohesive shape. I'll just throw a little ink on the bottom. <clears throat> there we go, we have another flippy and fun freeform pocket. Yeah. So that one's done. Now let's do the wallaby. This time I will leave the top <laughs> and the bottom because I want to tuck this underneath. So first I'll ink this. Then glue this. Side, what I want to put up here. Maybe just a simple little. Or do we want to overlay? Yeah, let's do it. Let's glue this one down and we'll overlay with this one. We'll just do some of this nice green. Like that. just leave that one because I kind of like the um I don't want to mess with the wildflowers in the image okay
for shaking you there. Okay, so that one's done and that one's done. Now we'll find the signatures and we'll see where we want to put those in the book. All right, back to the signatures here. So again, I'm leaning toward this one, but I don't think I want to do that one with a flip maybe. And I did put that in that one. So let's go to a different, a different signature. I could put it here on the house sparrow page and it will cover that text. That would be cute actually. Let's do that. having a lot of fun with this journal and just kind of working on it in my own time not necessarily making tons of videos about it but I may make a couple more we'll see I have lots of work left to do on it it's kind of become magical to me so I'm wanting to just <laughs> work away on it um, okay so that's in there that's good now we'll find another spot for our kitty cat friend. Good colors there. That would be really nice colors together, but we'll see what else. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's pretty perfect for a couple of reasons. So number one, I like these colors together a lot, but also this is one of those shorter pages, so it could use the support of, um, that. And I'm just trying to decide if I should cut this off Oops. or if I should trim the pocket from that side. I think I'm going to cut that off because it just doesn't really serve the shape of the pocket as well as I'd hoped. You know, and that's what we do, right? When something's not exactly what we hoped for, it's not a failure. It's just a readjustment. I'm going to put it on this side, I think. Yeah. So then it can flip down. It's still in the book. Mm -hmm. Just pull this page up a bit and then I've got a little more leeway. Actually, if I put this to the very top, then I can put this at the bottom-ish and it will stay mostly in the book. Okay, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> going to glue it down on two sides. We'll leave a little bit of space there and at the bottom. There we go. Fun. Okay. Gather up our signatures here. Then I need to make things. Um, pin. <laughs> it's very cute, but I don't want to use all those elements maybe. I don't know. I do like it though. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it, this will be a little too big. I could always maybe fussy cut this. bringing you along with me on one of these <laughs> videos where I don't know what I'm doing. It's just kind of planning ephemera out. Sometimes it can be quite a lengthy process, so I don't always film um, the whole thing because I'm like rearranging and planning. I like that as like a journal card. I think that would be fun and free form. Okay. So let's do some things. 
We will ink the edge of these. One of the um, 1850s paper dolls that were handmade by this lovely woman whose scrapbook I was lucky enough to purchase at an estate sale. And they were so delicate because she made them out of actually a newspaper. Um, she would cut people illustrated people out of newspapers and then she would hand color them and then she stuck them in a scrapbook and the very back of them were like very thin newspaper like like that's what the whole dolls were made of is the newspaper and they were cut from like magazines like delineator and um you know like local newspapers that kind of thing so pretty cool find a little bit of glue under that one i'm gonna move there we go a little hard piece of glue just gonna use up this packaging also, I just love gluing things on paper bag. It's always like nice, <laughs> very nice. So now what I'll do is I'll just, I'm gonna glue all these elements. Let's get them all ready to go. I find this an easy way to kind of do um, collage because everything's glued and you can take it all at once and lay it all down and um, not have to like wait and reposition and lose you know sight of where you had everything especially when it's like a very multi-layered collage not one as sort of simple as this one so i just kind of lay them down not all the way initially in the general spot where i thought i had them kind of and then i just readjust as needed so i want that one to be like that like fully on that's good that's good yeah okay and then we can just press it all down okay No, I think I like that as is. And I'm gonna leave a little border. And I'm also going to stitch around this. This is also a good way to make like a journal topper you know if you look at that that would be like a really good like victorian maybe victorian men's or romantic kind of journal cover so i just want to compare the size of this to my signature that i think i might want to put it into which will be this one yeah It'd be good. So this could be something that if there's another one of those freeform pockets, FYI, um, this could be good in a spot that I may want to just like paper clip it on. I could also use it as a pocket, but I don't want to. I want to keep it as a journal card. Um, and I think I may clip it on here because I just love the colors with the pink dyed parchment. So give me two seconds to stitch this and I'm going to um, add it there. All right, I am back and we have stitched. So what I did was I just stitched around where we didn't have free form shaping, just around like the square. So I will take a rest paper clip, which I just made a whole bunch of. I've got a big tray of them that I need to put away. I'll just plunk that on there as so. And I think that's a nice little spread for journaling. Okay. I also have this fun piece of paper. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. 
thinking of just like using it as a tuck-in because it's just it's so fun but I may stitch around it to just tame these fibers a little so yeah that will be good do we have anything we need to fill right now no we need to make pockets and things okay so I think that's a little video for today. I have a little bit of a busy day ahead of me today, but I wanted to kind of do a little something for you so I could show you those fun freeform collage pockets. It's just like an easy and interesting way to kind of, you know, amp up a pocket. Um, and you can start with such simple means. It's also a great way to use your scraps. Like I'm using things from my kit because that's the sort of intention that I have for this journal. But you know, you could start so simply um, with like a little scrap out of your, you know, your bin of scraps that I know you have because we all do. But like even sewing paper, you know, you're just going to start with some kind of a square shape and then kind of make your objective to make it not square. Um. <laughs> so like, let's see if I can find some scraps and do one really quick with you. <laughs> me trying to find a square scrap goodness all right so here we go so this has a bird on it um, which is kind of cool that could be used let's do that that could be part of the freeform design so we have this kind of wood looking paper right rip it cut it down to a shape that is the size of a pocket that you would want okay glue Leave the top open. Now I've got this. You see how this has a fold here? I'm going to tuck that behind here and make that like a flip down on my pocket that's going to be an upper tuck pocket. So it's going to sit high on the page at the top of the page, which is good because I always forget to make those and I always need them. Now I just have a little bit of like this kind of um, painty paper. Now, as I mentioned, this one's going to be a flip down, sit at the top of the page. So in that case, you know what? I shouldn't have stuck the plug down. I thought I'm not going to have a flip up, but I have a flip down. So I'm going to make the bottom of the pocket my free form kind of shape. So then we'll just pull this back up again. Okay. And I want to use this fun paper. I think probably just tear it like that. So that's the cooler side. Glue glue. Okay. Lay that down. Glue it all down. And then use the top piece, the other little torn spot. That will kind of cover your seam. Okay, so we've added a bit of interest there. This comes down. Now I feel like we just need something right there. So I have this scrap of paper. I'm just going to cut a little piece off. So that'll be a pocket. You know, that could also be a pocket. Why don't we do that? I was gonna cut just a flower out and put it there. No, that's not, because it's the top of the page, right? So it doesn't make sense. This is how I work things out in my brain. You see, you just have to keep tackling what you're <laughs> thinking about and you'll get there eventually. Okay, so flower number one. And I'll put this on a page so I can show it to you so you're not wondering what I am talking about. Okay. And then I'm just eyeballing this little blue flower. That can go over here. Okay, so now we have an interesting bottom there. Now that. So 
pull this off. Now, I want to round the corners of this. Just be careful you don't cut your paper because we want that this to stay, right? Don't cut the top of it. And come down here and cut this into the shape that you desire. use some salvage patina um, to stress oxide as our ink. And then ink your edges and then what my kids are doing. Sorry if you hear them being crazy. <laughs> They're watching this really cute show this morning called Mittens and Pants. <laughs> it's like a CBC Kids show. Um, that's the Canadian Broadcasting Network for my American friends wondering what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's uh, this new little show. It's like the Hammy the Hamster for this generation. It's like a little kitten and a puppy and they have this little town of kittens and puppies and the dog's name is Pants and the cat's name is Mittens, so Mittens and Pants. <laughs> so they're enjoying that. Okay, now I need to find a place to put this. So let's take a look. I want a page that's got like something on the top I want to cover, like text or something. And I know I have a few of those. So let's just rush through this book. So there's one. Let's see how that would fit. Let's, so what we're most interested in right now is going to be whether or not that will cover anything interesting. It does cover that bird. I don't really want to cover that bird. Um, I know there's more in here because I had a few pages that I didn't deal with the the top text and I knew I'd have to come back and make some kind of an upper tuck pocket. Although if I don't find one, I'll just put it on a page that, here's one. This one's probably quite perfect, honestly. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is glue this and this. Um, maybe a little there too, just for the sake of it to go all the way down. Okay, and then just bring it up to the very tippy top here of the text. It doesn't matter if a little bit of the text shows like honestly we're making journals from books if you don't I love and appreciate text and words then you might be in the wrong you might be in the wrong world. <laughs> Just saying. All right so now what we have is this fun little pocket. Let me use my fish journal card here. It's going to be a little big maybe. Oh no, it's actually fine. So that can go in here and then this flips down and we have, you know, this as an upper, like an upper writing space to come right on out. That's really fun. Let me actually use that or I may even use one of my purity flower recipe pages as the thing. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. See what a fun little layered, you know, and there's writing space here too on the pocket. So I'm just going to back this and that's what I'm going to put in there because I really, really like it. Um, there are any blank pages in here? I love the color of this paper, especially the yellow paper. Oh, there's one. The yellowy paper is really nice. Let's see. That should be big enough for the purity flower. It is. Good, good. Okay. Just had to change my battery. Sorry for the little snip there. So, put this out. Dog is 
rolling his bone across the floor. And my kids are jumping like hippopotamuses. It's almost time for the video to end, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of wish that when I came down here I could be like gluing them all to the floor, but you know how it is. Okay, so then one more little detail. Just made me think of the Roll Doll book, The Twits. Um, there's a scene or a chapter in that book where like the twits had been very awful to this group of monkeys and um, they, they glued them to the floor and so they, they glued the twits, these two terrible people, to the floor. <laughs> it's a very funny and very, um, you know, older kind of generation maybe book, although I don't think there's anything, I can't recall anything too, like, you know, um, I'd say dysfunctional in modern times in that particular book. I'm trying to think. I may be forgetting. I just remember enjoying it when I was a child. It's a fun book. Okay. So yeah, I just put that little hole there because these, this is, um, from an original, very old, um, purity flower book that this woman had written all of her recipes in. So that was part of my, my scanned things that I included in my kit for this month. And they all had a little, little hole in the top as though she'd had like a ring binder, like, or some, I mean, it's too early to be ring binders, but she had something tying them together. Okay. So enough gabbing and let's find that pocket. Where did I put it? Was it in this one? See, this is also what I spend a lot of time doing. <laughs> trying to backtrack my steps. It must be this one because it was on top. Um, or maybe I just totally put it over there. Oh no, I did. It's over there. Oh goodness. Those are the ones that didn't work for this, right? So, okay, let's reassemble our signature here. Oh, and I still need to stitch down that tab. Okay. So flip that up. This goes in the pocket. Flip it back down. We have a really fun little layered page there. I love that. Okay. So I think that will be a video for today. I'm going to go back and stitch this tab and do a little more work on this particular page. Um, so I hope you're well, and I'll probably come back with a little more of this journal. Um, we'll see, because it may just completely encapsulate me and I'll be like head down working on it because I tend to do that sometimes. <laughs> I know it's kind of a pain. Um, I should do like a beginning to end journal project for you guys. And maybe I'll do that um, soon. So yeah, that is it for me for now. And I will talk to you again shortly. You can find all the links to my dis my description box, all the links to all my things down below. And um, if you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. I also want to just say thank you to all you new folks who subscribed. Um, I really appreciate you for hanging out with me. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.